What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys the fire starter of Sinnoh. We got ourselves an Infernape team for Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Infernape, this Pokemon has been lackluster to say the least in Scarlet and Violet. You haven't really seen it this much, but with Regulation H right around the corner, I feel like this Pokemon is going to start to shine considering Restricted and uh, Legendary Pokemon are now not allowed. So the power level does drop. Bringing Infernape up, the rankings a little bit so we're gonna be using it seeing how it holds up hopefully grabbing some wins for you guys let's talk about this infernate build that we're using today it's rocking iron fist as its ability alongside with the choice band as its held item it's got the fighting terror type with mock punch flare blitz thunder punch close combat this pokemon's here to deal some damage and i'm pretty sure it can do some big time damage other Pokemon on today's team feature Scizor. Now, Scizor, another fan favorite. I feel like everybody loves to use this Pokemon on the rank ladder. This, this Pokemon has Technician with a Life Orb as item. Obviously, the Fire Terror type as it's its best Terror type. And we got Bull Punch, Protect, U-Turn, and Dual Wing Beat. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature Whimsicott, Sinisha, Rotom, and Annihilate. Whimsicott and Sinisha are going to be there for support. They're able to heal HP, get speed control, all that good stuff. Then Rotom and Annihilate are more on the attacking side. Rotom special attacking and Annihilate big time physical attacker with that weakness policy. So if they want to break our weakness policy, this thing can do some crazy damage with either, either Drain Punch or Rage Fist. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Inferni. So guys, we're going up against a Quackquaval team here in match number one, alongside with Dancer or Corio. I think that's how you pronounce that Pokemon. I feel like I flub the name every time I see this Pokemon. But they also have Noivern. They got Volcarona. They got Golem, who is kind of scary, considering that could be like Explosion Golem. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for. But I feel as we could just go into Infernape here, as it's a rather fast Pokemon, like 176. That's insane speed. And I think that's a fine call for us. So I'm going to go Infernape on top of, uh, do I go Scizor or do I go like Whimsicott with the Cobra Clue? That could be pretty good. I mean, we got Taunt, we got Moonblast. If they want to go into Quiver Dances, we can actually just Taunt it. So you know what? I'm going to go into Whimsicott here. Infernape's going to come out here for a lead. And then in the back end, we're going to go in with Rotom. I kind of do like Rotom. Rotom is not bad here. Yeah, I'm going to go Rotom. And last but not least, I think it's either Scizor or Annihilate. Looking at the team, I mean, Scissor could be rather decent, especially with, like, U-Turn and Dueling Beat. But I feel like we have to watch out for that full Corona, which is our only problem. I'm going to go Skizzy. I'm going in with the Skizzy. Skizzy the Scizor. All right, let's rock out with it. So, Infernape Wimscott going to be our lead. I really do like that. I mean, we could take Speed Control. If they want to go into, like, Oricorio and Volcarona, chances are Volcarona is going to go for, like, Quiver Dance. So, we could just taunt that bad boy up. And then uh, start dealing damage with our Infernape. Let's see who they lead. It's going to be Golem and Noivern. Okay, I see you. Could be like a explosion here. Which is looking terrifying. And honestly, I mean, we should just go into close combat. You could be sturdy. But I'm going to double down into this Pokemon. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. We're going to go straight into close combat. Let's look to rip, rip up into this thing. Because I can see a Protect from Noivern here. We close combat. Are you sturdy? No, you're not. All right, that works out perfectly for us then. Infernape, one tap and golem, no problem. I'm cool with that. Does this thing learn sturdy ability? I'm almost positive it does. I'm almost positive it does. But that's not bad. He's going to set up a tailwind. That's fine by me because I'm able to move blast. I can stagger my tailwind turns next turn because I have prankster. And that works wonders because I'm one tap and noivern as well. I get a crit. We love you, Whimsicott. I was going to say, I didn't think that should be able to one tap. But with the crit, we like it. We love it. So Infernape sitting here with the choice ban. Choice in the close combat. Really good so far. Um, I think we might see Volcarona pop out here. And as long as I can set up a tail, I want to get off one more close combat with Infernape. I think we should be fine. And yeah, there's the Volcarona. The Volcarona out here. And Oricorio is going to fly out here as well. Do I taunt here? I feel like I should taunt. And I feel like I should swap here as well. I feel like going in the road time is definitely to play. And yeah, we are going to end up taunting this Volcarona. It's got to be Quiver Dance. I know you got Tailwind up, but I just feel like taunting has got to be the play. We can't really let this thing set up Quiver Dances. Let's see. They're going into my road time. Shiny road time. And I'm going to taunt up. We're going to predict the Quiver Dance here. Is Jeans correct or, or are they just attacking you? 
Let's see. Fiery Dance. Alright. That hurts the soul. We say bye bye to Wimscott. <laughs> we say bye bye to Wimscott. And I should have set up a Tailwind. Now that seems to go for, for a Fiery Dance as well. The Dancer ability. It's so cool. It is so cool. So he gets to use that. He gets a crit. Alongside with his attack. That is crazy. That's such a cool combo. Hurricane flies out here. Not very effective. And it perfectly pops my Citrus Berry. But of course you guys get the Ducks. So the Ducks are out and about. We're going to be able to do this. And I think just going into either... I think Scizor here is our best option. And using our Terror type on Scizor. Just to start Bullet Punch it down as Oracorio. I like it. I'm all about it. I am all about it. So from here, we're honestly just going to launch a Hydro Pump into Volcarona. Harassalize you and try to go for... Uh, I don't even know what I should go for. A Bullet Punch, I guess? What typing are you? You're flying in what? Electric. Okay. We definitely still want to go into this Fire Territory, right? Yeah, because then we just die out. So I'm going to do this. I am still going to Harassalize. I can't really do much besides like dual wing beat in this thing. Yeah, let's get rid of Volcarona. Let's get rid of Volcarona. Let's double down into it. Let's double down into it. Because if I can get rid of a Pokemon this turn, it'd just be so massive turning this 2v3 into a 1v3 or 1v2. Just making life a lot easier for us. Because obviously this combo can really just start boosting or like picking up KOs really easily. Especially with like Oracorio following whatever move this thing's using. And that works out so perfectly because he protects the bird and we're doubling down into the bug. The Fiery Dance can come through here. A perfect terror type for us. We're able to soak this new problem. And he's going to get that special attack boost. Oh, it still attacks through protect. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. That's really cool, though. Of course, my Rotom is confused right now. But it's still landing Hydro Pump. My boy's got me. He's got me. Hydro Pump is going to leave this thing on one. It's Focus Ash. Good thing we doubled down. That's actually big time for us. Now we're sitting in a great position just to win this game. No problem. Volcarona, get on out of here. Get on out of here. This little pom-pom bird ain't doing anything without Volcarona. So we got this match pretty much on lock. Volcarona's going to faint. I'm going to lose a little bit of HP. But now it turns to a 3v1 with what's called in the back end. With Choice Band in front of just chilling in the back end. But from here, we'll go Bullet Punch. We'll start throwing some shots at this bird. How much damage is Bullet Punch going to do? That's respectable. Respectable damage. This thing's going to go for a Revelation Dance. That's going to KO me. Yeah, I was going to say. We're dead to that. So Scissor drops out. We're totally fine with this match. Unless I hit myself in Confusion. And I feel like since I said that, we're definitely going to hit ourselves in Confusion. Okay, Rotom snaps out of Confusion. My dog. My dog. Volt Switch is going to pivot us. Do good damage. And now I can just choice into Mach Punch, right? Even though Mach Punch is going to be not very effective. I feel like Mach Punch still picks up KOs, right? You got the Choice Ban, you got the Stab Damage boost, you got the Iron Fist boost. And their Tailwind's gone, so we actually outspeed it. But I'm not playing any games, we're just gonna Volt Switch Mach Punch. I'm actually curious to see if Mach Punch can pick up the KO. I really am. So I'm gonna go Mach Punch, it should pick up the KO, and we'll follow through with a Volt Switch. Let's see what they end up doing. We're gonna let the Mach Punch fly, and yep, Mach Punch picking up the KO. So there it is, hot start for us, Infernape showing out, we're sitting 1-0. Moving on to our second match, we're going up against a pretty dope squad. Dragonite, Clefable, Basket Legion without a Rain Setter. And then they got Rillaboom, Golden Go, and Talonflame. So chances are Talonflame is going to be a lead here. And we kind of want to match its Tailwind speed with Whimscott. So Whimscott is going to be a solid lead for us. So I'm going to go Whimscott. Um, do I go Infernape here? I mean, Infernape could just Thunder Punch this thing down, right? Talonflame? I don't mind Infernape. I don't mind it. But we're gonna have to bring Pokemon that we can potentially like swap into because obviously that bird could be scary. So I'm gonna go Infernape. I am gonna go Whimscott here. Um, hmm. Who else should I bring here? I feel like Scissor could be really good, especially with that U-turn bug typing. It also has Bullet Punch. It's got the Wing Beat. I'm all about it. And then we kind of need to deal with this Golden Go. Who would be better, Annihilate or Rotom? I feel like Annihilate should be better here. So I'm gonna go Annihilate here, especially with the weakness policy. If they can hit me with a super effective move. We're really going to be thriving out here. But my one problem is Talonflame. Obviously, I brought a few fighting types and grass types. We're all weak to flying type moves. But I feel as with my Infernape and Wimscott, if they lead Talonflame or bring it, we should just be able to neutralize that situation and then get after it with our other Pokemon. So 
Let's see who they end up rocking out with here. I'm kind of hoping it's Talonflame who's setting up Tailwind because I would love to just go Tailwind into Thunder Punch and KO this thing. And it is going to be Talonflame with Fable. Fable's a bit more annoying, right? Fable's definitely a bit more annoying. And I feel as we just rip a Thunder Punch. We go Tailwind, Thunder Punch. If you go for Follow Me, you go for Follow Me. No, he's going to launch a Brave Bird turn one and just almost dump on my Whimscott. So this is huge for us. This is huge. My Wimscott's able to soak that because it's an absolute dog. And we get off the Tailwind. That's huge. Thunder Punch flies. KOs all day long. Infernate with that Thunder Punch. Iron Fist boosts it. We love it. With the Choice Band. With the Choice Band. Can't forget about it. So Fable's now going to launch a Moon Blast and take out my Wimscott. No problems for me. No problems for me. That's a great turn. We got off Tailwind and we got rid of Talonflame. So Wimscott did its job. Now I can just go into Skizzy right here. Get this Pokemon bumping, and we might want to hard swap Infernape just to reset this choice. Really depends who they go into. If we can Thunder Punch whatever Pokemon, we'll be fine here. And it's going to be Bash Crazy. We are so staying in here with Infernape. Definitely staying in here. So I'm going to go Bullet Punch. We got Speed Cooking, and we're going to stick with Thunder Punch. If Infernape dies, Infernape dies. As long as it gets off a nice big Thunder Punch, it might even be able to KO the Bash Legion. But that's something I love. I love that Scissor's, uh, what is it called? Like the texture on it. It looks so good in this game. Same thing with Bashful Legion. Seeing those scales. I feel like they did such a good job with the Pokemon in this game, design-wise. I wound up seeing a Terra type. And who's it going to be on? It's going to be on Fable. So Bashful Legion is kind of looking like it's in a tough spot. And you're going with water here. So this could be really good for us. Yeah, we're choosing a Thunder Punch. Follow me is going to come out here. This is totally fine. You're going to take out my Infernape. But we should be able to take out Fable. It's going to be cutting it close. It's going to be cutting it close. I lose some HP. We now go into a Thunder Punch and... Oh, almost picks up the KO. And he's going to flip turn out of here, which we might soak. We don't soak. In front of a little, little lightweight. So he flip turns out of here. We get to see his final Pokemon. We have Tailwind for two more turns. And we should be able to KO this Fable within our next turn. It's going to be Golden Go. Golden Go is out and about. Could bulk up here. I do have Terra still. I do still have Terra, which is really good for us. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of just going into like a dual wing beat just to pick up the KO. Actually, U-turn will pick up the KO, have a better chance, do more damage. And then Terrasalize and you maybe do we kill Ghost here? Or do I just protect this turn? So we go for Rage Fist with the with the ghost terror type. I mean, if you hit me with a Shadow Ball, the thing is, Rage Fist isn't doing crazy damage right now. I'd be surprised if it KOs, but if you hit me with like a Shadow Ball and proc my weakness policy, that could be really good for us. I was kind of hoping we had the Fire Terror type. It'd be so perfect right now, especially for like Make It Rain. But we're going to go Ghost here, just so Fairy Moves won't, won't affect this. Fans are going for the Follow Me. Scissor should be faster than this Annihilate. It's not, and that really hurts because U turn's gonna. I want it to be the other way around. I should I should check the speeds and just protect it, annihilate. But still, Rage Fist picks up the KO. U turn's gonna fly into this Golden Go, and I think her Tailwind ends. U turn flying across. How much damage are we doing? Negative five. Negative five from Skizzy. And there goes Shadow Ball. So weakness policy gonna get popped. You soak it. But the problem here is the speed. The speed is the problem here. Right, Tailwind's gone. If we have one more turn left in Tailwind, that would be awesome for us. Do we have one more turn? We might. We do. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. The thing is, whatever... Oh, unless you have Aqua Jet... We're going to go Dual Wing Beat here. I'm going to go for Rage Fist in this slot. We got to hope he doesn't go for Aqua Jet. He protects the Golden Go. What a good protect. Is it a double protect? I'd rather be a double protect than anything. I know you're going to Aqua Jet. And we die. You get a crit too. We don't even know if we would have survived the regular Aqua Jet. Wow, man. That really hurts. And that pretty much puts him in a perfect position to win this game. Unless Scissor can clutch up. Dual Wing Beat flying here. Doing great damage. 
doing great damage. Great damage. We would need... We would need Bullet Punch to KO this, uh... This Bashka Legion, right? I think it has a shot, too. Bashka Legion's not as bulky as, uh... Oh, you go for Aqua Jet. That's a smart play. I was gonna say... Bashka Legion's not as bulky as Clefable. And it does end up picking up the KO. So now it turns to a 2v1, but we, we can't deal with this gold to go. We can't deal with this gold to go, so we're gonna end up losing this close match. Such a solid match, though. We're gonna be one and one. There goes Shadow Ball. That Shadow Ball probably kills us, right? Yeah, that was just a big time protect from that Golden Go. GG to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in our third and final match. Final match is here, and we're going up against a Regulation G team: Groudon, Porygon 2, Venusaur, Whimsicott. Charizard and Urshifu. So we need speed. Whimsicott's going to be our lead. And I'm also going to lead Infernape just because we are going to be super effective onto a lot of these Pokemon. P2, Charizard, Venusaur, Urshifu, if that is Water Urshifu, or even if it's Dark Urshifu, we're going to be super effective. So I like Infernape and I like Whimsicott here. So that is going to be my lead. In the late game spots, Rotom can be pretty good. But I mean, Sun kind of does its dirty. But I do like Volt Switch. Volt Switch is going to be super effective on to a few. And then we'll bring Annihilate. Looking for this win here. Looking for the winning record. We're sitting 1-1. One one. Would love to end this video beating up on a team like this. This could be really good for us. So, let's see. Let's see. That last match was actually close, so. Wish we would have won that one. But Aqua Jet coming out there. Doing big time damage. But I think we were losing that one regardless. Just because of how how much that, that, uh, that Golden Go really had us pinned right there. But he's gonna end up going into Charizard and Venusaur. So no sun right off the rip. Um What do I choice into here? What do I choice into? Because we I think we already outspeed, unless they want to swap into weather. So I mean I'm gonna set up Tailwind just in case. I don't think I'm just flare blitz in this slot. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Which all is Venusaur? Venusaur is going to go into Groudon. This could still do a ridiculous amount of damage. Yep, there's Groudon. This could still do a huge amount of damage. The chances are we might lose our Infernate this turn. So we got Flare Blitz, Stab Boost, Choice Band Boost, Sun Boost it. Let's see how much damage this does. A lot. That's, that's a lot of damage. We take Mean Recoil. And he's going to go for an Air Cutter. And he's going to pick up the double KO. You get a crit on my Whimsy? Bro. I just need a Whimsy cut there. I did set up Tailwind, so I, I don't feel as we're sitting in a terrible position, but Whimsy would have been so clutch there. It really would have. So now I got some speed cooking. Um, Could go for a bulk up if I really want to. And have this thing proc weakness policy, but it's solar powered. I mean, we have to attack. We have to attack. I could just protect you. I feel like Air Cutter has to fly here, so I'm gonna protect and I'm just gonna go into a Volt Switch here. See how much damage this does. I don't think it's gonna KO the Charizard, but Volt Switch should be able to chuck up some nice damage. Really, the crit was oh devastating there. Because I really want a Whimsicott on the field for one more turn because I know it outspeeds. And we could have just dropped a nice little uh moon blast into the, the ground on slot this turn. And kinda go from there. But he's gonna swap into P2, which I, I don't mind. He's going to download up, get that attack boost. Protect's going to fly out from Annihilate, because I believe Air Cutter's got to be... Got to be launching here, right? But I'm going to be able to speed. Go for a Volt Switch here. Do great damage. Bring you down the red. What is up with me leaving Pokemon on red? Dodge this Rotom. Heat Wave launches. He's going to die at the Solar Power, which is good. And Rotom doesn't dodge, and this thing does respectable damage. But I got Citrus Berry, so that's good. So we're going to say bye-bye to Charizard. Um... Hmm, Venusaur's looking a bit scary. Solar Power KOs. I think they bring out Venusaur here. Feel as they bring out Venusaur here. Yep, and out comes Venusaur. And I should just go for a Drain Punch here. Into P2. Do I protect you? I could tear you into steel. And maybe just paralyze Venusaur. Ooh, that could be pretty good for us. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm so all about it. I am so all about it. 
So Charizard's dead. We know what Pokemon they have. But they have Groudon with like one HP. P2 is chilling here. Um, I think Rotom might outspeed this Venusaur, which is good because I would love to just put a Paralyze onto this thing. And Drain Punch is launching. Doing great damage. That's solid damage right there. And I'm able to land a stun away. That's huge. So we slow down this Venusaur. Cut its speed in half. And it has a chance of not even going. So that could be clutch if we can get a turn out here. A Paralyze. Shadow Ball does launch. This is... We need Venusaur to really just not land a shot here. It's on weakness policy boosted now. Come on, Venusaur. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed, Venusaur. No, he's launching a solar beam. That's got to be in the Rotom, though. That has got to be in the Rotom. It is in the Rotom. You soak this Rotom all day. All day. All day long you soak that. Okay. I mean, I gotta get some HP back. Could start going for Rage Fist here. How many turns left in Tailwind? That's the real question. One. This is our last turn in Tailwind. I'm thinking Rage Fist should KO you. I'm thinking Rage Fish should KO this Venusaur. It does. So they pick up the KO here. Volt Switch gonna pivot here. Not gonna do much damage. And he's gonna go for a Thunder, which we dodge. That's massive. That is massive. So Tailwind is gone. The question now is does one of my Pokemon outspeed this ground on? That's really all we need to win this game. What's your speeds, guys? I don't know if you guys do. We're gonna double down into this thing, though. We're gonna double down all day. And they cancel match. Wow. Wow. It would've came down to the Groudon speed, but I guess they thought that Groudon wasn't fast enough. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with Infernape in today's video. Going 2-1, grabbing ourselves a winning record. What more can you guys ask for? Infernape was doing some big-time damage today. Obviously, with that choice ban, we were using Mach Punches, Flare Blitzes, Thunder Punches, and even Close Combat. Just using all of Infernape's moves, doing big-time damage, picking up KOs, and more importantly, picking up some wins for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.